Well, good morning. My name is Robert, and I've got your word for the day today. Today, as we're looking at Scripture, we're going to be in Genesis chapter 19, verses 1 through 20. And I want to encourage you to take some time today to read that on your own. I don't have time to to read every verse with you, but I do want to encourage you to go and read the story and hear the events as they're described there in the book of Genesis. But before we get to that, I actually want to go to yesterday. Because yesterday, Pastor Joe shared from chapter 18 an interaction that Abraham had with God over the city that his nephew Lot was living in. See, the city of Sodom was rough. It was evil. It was vile. It was full of perverse sin that was evil and detestable to God in every way. And and Abraham pleaded to God to not destroy the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. And he asked God if he would spare the city if only 50 righteous people could be found. And God agreed and said that the city would be spared if that was the case. So chapter 18 talks about Abraham continuing to negotiate down that number. And he ended with saying that if only 10 righteous people could be found, that God still would spare the city. And so chapter 18 ends on this fairly positive note. Abraham goes back home thinking, surely we can find 10 righteous people in the city. But as we go to chapter 19, we see that that actually wasn't the case. And God sends two angels to Sodom and eventually to review but then to eventually destroy the city as well. So as they get there, they start talking with Lot, and Lot initially questions and doubts whether the city would actually be destroyed in the morning. The angels finally tell Lot, his wife, and his sons and their wives to leave the city because it was about to be destroyed. And as they're leaving the city, they were instructed to run. Run, not walk. They said they were told to run and not look back and not stop until they had reached the next town or they would be swept away in the destruction. Now, by the time the sun came up that morning, the Lord was ready to bring fire and destruction upon these cities. And as this was happening, it says in Genesis 19 that Lot's wife didn't follow the instructions. She looked back at her former city, and as she did so, she was destroyed and became a pillar of salt. Now, this is a story that's perfect for an action movie. In fact, I'm sure somewhere there's a a movie based on this story. See, it's full of drama, it's full of controversy, full of action, full of destruction. And there's a lot of different things we could talk on in this story. But I want to focus on simply the effect that sin can have in our life. Because the fact of the matter is that sin destroys. It's the reason these cities were destroyed, and it's ultimately the reason that Lot's wife was destroyed also. But even if fire is not pouring into your living room or kitchen or wherever you're watching this episode today, the truth is that if there's sin that you have not been repenting of and confessing to God, it will bring destruction to your life. The reason that God shares his plan and desires for us is so that we would follow his plan. And as we do that, that we would leave behind sin and pursue the life that he has for us. And when we do this, scripture tells us that we find life. So let me challenge you today to examine your life. Look for where you can confess and repent of sins, because if you don't, you're going to bring destruction to your life. See, while this may not be the the happy, exciting uh, story that you were hoping to start your day off with, I hope that it does encourage you to examine where you're at in following Jesus. And if there's sin in your life, I pray that you will approach Christ as a way to find freedom and find forgiveness so that you can find life and hope and freedom instead of destruction in that. Hope that you have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.